Seven Sigma of Grade. That is a tarantula. Tarantula. Tarantula, whatever. <laughs> tarantula. It's huge. Tarantula. And it's crossing the street. Y'all don't want to come say hi? You're eating? Oh, he's going to come. Hi. Are you going to come say hi? He just looking. Wow, well, I didn't mean to disturb your lunch. Seven Sigma of Greed. Starting an off-grid homestead is exciting and can be very rewarding. However, maintaining 22 acres of raw sloped land has its challenges due to its size and terrain. To effectively manage such a large plot of raw land, it's essential to have a clear plan and the resources to address these challenges. And we're moving logs. We have a little creek over there. And we're moving all of the debris to the creek area first. And then eventually later we'll clean up the creek. But right now we're gonna move the debris on this side to one side so that we can work. There are many challenges that we are experiencing and learning from, such as water management, drainage, and erosion control. Rain and snow can erode the soil and sloped land is prone to erosion. We will need to implement measures like terracing, retaining walls, and planting ground cover to prevent soil erosion. Slope land can have drainage issues that need to be addressed to prevent water pooling, erosion, and other problems. Installing drains, culverts, and grading the land properly can help with the drainage. So I was able to weed whack this area for the most part before the uh, weed whacker broke. But I did get a big dent put in it. This was the area where I couldn't get to with the tractor because of all the slopes and rocks and debris. It's very dangerous to bring the tractor down on this side. A lot of uneven terrain, as you can see. So I had to come down here and manually weed right this part. Another challenge that is currently kicking our butts is weed management. Evasive plants can take over and weeds are a persistent problem. Controlling weeds on 22 acres of sloped land is very labor intensive. Regular weeding and herbicides may be necessary. The third challenge is soil health. Maintaining soil health is crucial for the growth of food crops, but we're so early in the process, we have enough time to figure that out. So one of the things that we have to deal with when we are, when we come back to the land is cows will migrate over and they will lay on the land and they leave. So we have to deal with large cow poop <laughs> on the grass, tons of it. Another challenge and huge safety issue is wildlife. The presence of wildlife, both beneficial and destructive, can affect our land. We will need to manage interactions with wildlife and protect ourselves and our future livestock and plants from damage or death. The grass is pretty tall. This is in the back of the property. And one of the problems is that with such tall grass, there could possibly be snakes in here that we have to worry about. Also, the terrain is pretty lumpy and bumpy. It is definitely not a smooth terrain. There are tons of rocks, large rocks that we need to be aware of. And we also didn't clear this space out. So we have lots of falling trees, limbs, bushes in the ground that we need to be aware of as well so this is this is going to be an undertaking it's going to be a challenge but we can do it the biggest challenge of them all is maintenance 
<laughs> Maintaining 22 acres of sloped land can be physically demanding. Due to our goals for this property, the maintenance requirements can vary significantly due to seasonal changes in weather and plant growth. Adopting our maintenance schedule and tasks accordingly is very important. Hello. Welcome. What are we doing today? Huh? What are we doing today? Chilling. Oh, hell no. We ain't chilling today. <laughs> Building and maintaining roads, trails, bridges, fencing, managing wildlife, and staying safe on the land are huge concerns. Plus, there are survivor rules to follow, and of course, there are ongoing costs. Maintaining such a large area can be expensive in terms of labor, equipment, and materials. And budgeting for ongoing maintenance costs and strategic planning is mandatory. And that tightens whatever that is. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> What is this called? Box plate? Mm -hmm. The box plate. Ha <laughs> ha. And he's off. Using a tractor on 22 acres of sloped raw land presents a unique set of challenges due to the terrain and the size of the area. So over here, <clears throat> over here cannot be bush hog. Uh, I'm gonna have to back this because as you see there are a lot embedded rocks on this side and, and it's too slopey had to clear that creek out that's a whole other project get the chainsaw chop that stuff up get a wood chipper uh yeah a project for later this dry mountain climate brings its own set of challenges and living off-grid means embracing nature in its rawest form Self-reliance, sustainability, and finding harmony in the midst of rugged terrain is going to be a lot of work. Clearing falling trees, rocks, and debris in the areas that we will use for building a home and growing food is high priority at this point in the process. I do not plan on coming up this far to do any bush hogging. Look at that. I get more experience. But <laughs> I have to be back this shit. This bush hogging is not going to work on this side. You know, we'll, I think this tree will be my tree line I'll stop at as far as trying to come up this high. This is one hell of a view. Eventually, I'll try to get in here and clear some of this out. Eventually. Lots and lots of rocks. Transforming this raw land into our perfect homestead is going to be a gradual process that will take a few years to get exactly how we want it. we will have to prioritize projects based on our immediate needs and available resources while keeping our long-term goals in mind. Seven Sigma Upgrade. 
We also welcome advice from experienced homesteaders and professionals to help us make informed decisions throughout the process. Tractors are efficient tools for land maintenance, but their use on sloped land requires careful consideration and precautions. The risk of rollovers, tipping, accidents, and injuries are significant on uneven terrain. Inexperienced operators, such as ourselves, can put us and others at risk while also damaging the equipment or the land. Accessing all parts of the property can be dangerous, particularly on steep or uneven slopes. Tractors and attachments are expensive to purchase, maintain, and they're expensive to operate. We have to budget for fuel, maintenance, and repairs. Operating rotary cutters on rough terrain can lead to increased wear and tear on the equipment. With the right commitment, transforming our raw off-grid property into a thriving homestead is not just a possibility, but a challenging and yet rewarding reality. Thanks for joining us, and don't forget to like and share and subscribe for more insightful content. Until next time, happy homesteading. Bye. All right, so it's quite a bit of grass and weeds that need to be cut, as you can see. However, my husband did an amazing job with the main side of the land. He cut quite a bit of grass, weeds, got rid of a lot of debris. And he did an amazing job because he did quite a bit of work, as you can see. nice and clean and low very beautiful so this gives us an opportunity to keep the maintenance of the grass low as we go into the winter months so we're hoping that we don't have to cut for another maybe six months or so. But as you could see, that is before where it was quite high and we still have lots of work to do. However, again, he did an amazing job. I'm so proud of him. He works hard. Seven Sigma off-grade.